T, and we are the Johnsons. After military life, we settled back in good old South Carolina. One mom, one dad, and three very energized kiddos figuring out this thing <laughs> called life. So I'd like to invite you on this roller coaster of ours. So grab a friend, Come on. hang on tight, and enjoy the ride. I promise you will not be bored. <laughs> We aren't perfect, but there's a lot of love around us and a lot of fun. So it's an adventure for us, just like it's an adventure for you. I love you, Mom. I love you too, Bug. And always remember that everything is a little better with some Carolina love. Hey, everybody. It's your girl, T, and welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we are going to be doing a lock update because today is my 10 month uh, lock anniversary. So I have been locked for 10 months now and um, I'm gonna take this infinity scarf off. I'm gonna show you the products that I use, my lock routine, and talk to you about, you know, some of the things that I have learned in this time. Cause I feel like, you know, I can start talking about it. So let me remove this. I have to, also, I'm going somewhere. I'm just running out to run some errands. So let me go ahead and just um, open it. I mean, not open it, like loosen it up. Uh, I'm gonna go in. Now, if I were to be washing my hair, I would be using the Shea Moisture's Jamaican Black Castor Oil uh, Strengthen and Restore Shampoo. But I'm not washing my hair today. This is the only uh, shampoo that I use. So I locked my hair November the 2nd, 2019. Uh, and I had them professionally installed. I had my very first retwist was uh, done professionally. And then I had my hair retwisted for my birthday. Uh, I'm going to show you like the back of it before we get into it. Let me move this up. Before we get all up into the regime. So this is it. If you have, um, what's it called? If you've been following me, then you see that my hair in these 10 months have come such a long way. I'm trying to like stand back so that I'm like in the camera. Okay, so there, there's that. Then I come in with uh, Keisha Charmaine's Emu Oil Growth Drops. I need some more of this. Because I'm almost out. Like, I even have to, like, tilt the bottle, do all that crazy stuff with it, right? Um, I'm probably going to order it today. So, I locked my hair for uh, many reasons. I wanted easy maintenance of my hair. Because, like, when I was natural, I think I was natural for, like, five years or something like that. I am a lazy natural. Um, I don't... I don't like doing too much stuff to my hair. Even when I style my hair, I there is not a style in my head uh, that takes more than five minutes. Five and five minutes is pushing it for me. Like I need to just go. So I focus the drops. Like I'm really like almost out. I focus the drops on the my hairline because I have really small locks. So I want to make sure that I get you know, that I keep my hair strong. Also, what helps me keep my hair strong is I typically only retwist every five to seven weeks. These right here are actually like, they're, they're press-ons because I'm having surgery the day after tomorrow. And so I didn't want to have like acrylics on my hands, but I don't really get my, I haven't had my nails done in so long. Uh, so yeah, like I've never retwisted my hair with with nails on, and I don't think that I I will. So I focus this around the drops. Like I said, like you can tell that I really use this because I'm like almost out, and I don't retwist too quickly because your girl ain't got time for you know these are small locks. I don't want them, you know, getting weak and popping off and stuff like that. I like my hair. I just massage that in a little bit. Now, 
Normally I'd do this step first and I don't know how I mess that out of order. So I'm just gonna wet my hands. And I prefer this method over a spray bottle and I'll tell you why. It's because um, I can really pay attention to how I wet my hair. Sometimes when I use a spray bottle, I tend to overly wet my hair, like overly dampen my hair. And I don't like that. So I'm just going like this, and there we go. Next, I use the Lock Sanity Rose Water Peppermint Daily Moisturizing and Refreshing Spray. Now, the only thing I don't like uh, about this product is the, it took no time for the little spray nozzle to break. So just add just a, just a little bit, you do not need a lot, right? We're just refreshing our locks, adding that moisture in. Um, I don't want to, yeah, like it just broke down. I once accidentally sprayed this in my mouth and I'm a little weirded out that it, it tastes pretty good. It's like, oh, okay. So we're just going here. Mm. I absolutely love this. Uh, also, a quick little tidbit is when I decided to lock my hair, like when I had my, my coils installed, I, that was, the end of braids and wigs for me it was we were done with that i and i think that that makes sense you hear about some people saying um oh well braiding your hair will help your hair lock faster and that doesn't the logic behind that doesn't even make sense and the reason why to me it doesn't make sense is um when your hair locks the hairs freely move they have to move and wrap around themselves and entangle themselves and that's how you lock it so if you put a braid over it, you are entrapping the hair and it can't move the way that you need it to move. And then all that, like that synthetic hair and stuff, it's heavy, doesn't let your scalp breathe. So then next I go in with the line locks. I typically use this, I, this is the only product I use to retwist my hair. And lately I have been using it as like a, a little moisturizer. So what is on my finger is the amount that I will put in my hair. And that's it. So I just run it like this. Um, and it smells good. It's lightweight. It doesn't give me like a buildup issue or anything like that. So I go in with that. And to top it off, we are going back and with, we're going in with uh, Keisha Charmaine's Horsetail Leaf Growth Oil. This stuff is life. So we're gonna focus on our scalp on this. And it's, this is like to, you know, seal in what we just did of adding that moisturizer. Um, and it feels good. It keeps my hair from, like my scalp from itching. And so there's like a fly in here and it's like really bothering me. Mmm, it feels so good. Then I add just a little bit to my actual hand. Ah, it doesn't really come out as much. I mean, I really do need to make an order today. Mix it all around, and we're just going over the locks. And now, y'all, we're done. Now, if I was going to bed doing this, I'd throw back on my infinity scarf, and I'd head to bed. Um, but I have to run out. So, like I said, I keep it, I, I, I do stretch out my little thing so that I'm not pulling it too tight. So, um, I'm going to shake it. Okay, we're going to look back into the back so that y'all can see how thick my hair is. Like, my hair is super thick, and it's come such a long way. And this time, and... I don't know if I want to do bangs today. You might do bangs today. I'm actually thinking about, like, I just put these nails on um, just to see how they would look. And I don't like them because they're like, I feel like they're snagging my my hair. And I don't, I don't. <laughs> baby, that is not even a thing. So, yeah, we're going to do a little bit of a bang, right? I don't use tools like combs and stuff like that in my hair. 
and then I just sort of pull it up a little bit don't pull too tight and then come in here so today is the seven year um, anniversary of my sister's passing she had complications with lupus um, and she passed away at 25 years old so I'm going to go pick up some flowers and put them in the vase and grab maybe a balloon to release later on with the kids. So that is why I'm running out today. So just a quick little errand, nothing major. I'm trying to hurt, I'm trying to like very gently do this. I do not wrap this more than twice. Like twice is like pushing it for me because I don't like my hair to be tight or anything. And even though like you see me like tugging on them, it's very gentle. This is like a go-to style, like, you know? It's a little cute little thing. I just, that's how I rock it. Turn to the side. Okay, turn to the back. And it's that easy, y'all. I'm all about ease. And uh, I need to be able to get in and get out. And that actually went slower because I was trying to like not have my hair, my nails snagging at my locks. But it has been a great journey. I also decided to have to lock my hair because I wanted to find a way to love my hair and its natural texture. And when I tell you I absolutely love my hair. Um, I do have a lot of new growth and I just retwisted my hair like, I want to say, no, we're probably going on four weeks. So I could do a retwist like next week, but I probably will wait till like the six or the seven week mark because it's not hard to retwist my hair, but it is very time consuming. So we're going to get all up in here. Yeah, like y'all see these retwists? I mean, this new growth, just come here. I don't pull them too hard, just bam. And like when I retwist my hair, I typically retwist all my hair at the same time. So like, I don't even like, I know some people who keep their fronts retwisted more often because that's what shows, but I don't, I don't do all of that. I try and I'm more into the integrity of my lock rather than the, I guess the look of them, if that makes any sense. So that is that. I need to get dressed and all of that. But um, so it's been 10 months. It's been a beautiful 10 months. This also made me get way more comfortable in, you know, who I am as a person and getting more comfortable with high look. Um, I have not dyed my locks. I haven't put color on my hair since December of 2011. So I don't necessarily plan on coloring my hair at all. So we'll come back to in the back. We'll have to get one more look at how thick it is. I love my hair. So um, until next time, uh, you know, stay blessed. Have a great day. Peace and hair grace.